Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Welcome. As always, I'm your host. I'm Will Bryant. Man, am I excited for uh, for this episode? I'm trying something new. Yeah, yeah. Victory beer, sour monkey. It's a sour triple, triple. I always forget how that's supposed to be pronounced. But here's the thing. 9.5% alcohol by volume. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, now that, that is a strong beer. I guess it makes sense that I'm going a little hard here. Because we go a little hard in this episode. And, and I don't necessarily mean hard drinking, although... Some of us in the episode do drink and did drink. However, and you heard that correctly, I said some of us in the episode because for the first time ever, for the first time in the history of this podcast, for the first time ever on I'm Will Bryant, it's not two people on this podcast. No, 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 no. For the first time ever, ladies and gentlemen, you will have three people on this podcast. I have not one, but two guests on the show today. And trust me, I know it's a huge freaking deal. Now, I know some of you guys are out there saying, what's the big deal? Who cares? So you have two guests. But hey, it's a big deal to me. See, this show went from just me for basically a whole year besides Keith and Sam. And kudos to them for being the, t- the first two guests on my show. Keith, you will always have the honor of being the first ever guest on I'm Well, Bryant. But it was mostly just me, and it's only been a recent thing where it's been two people, but three people. <laughs> you know you know what's next, right? Oh yeah, it's only a matter of time until we get the fatal four-way match here on I'm Will Bryant. It's only a matter of time. See, it's been one of my goals to up the ante a little bit here on this show. Because see, I've got this little... Uh, not to get too techie with you guys, but I guess this is the episode to do it. Because we get a little techie in the episode. And you'll see why. My interface, as they call it, can only handle two microphones, which is why all these podcasts have been one or two people. But my guests on this show, my guests on this episode, let's just say they're in the business. They're in the industry, okay? And no, I don't mean the comedy industry. No, I don't mean the bartending industry. Yeah, I mean that other thing that I strive to be, that other thing that I want to be good at, that other thing that I kind of put on the back burner and has been the albatross around my neck because I haven't given it the enough, the attention that it deserves. And that, my friends, is the art of DJing. And not just DJing, but producing all that good stuff, the recording. This week, my guests, they're all about that kind of stuff, man. My guests this week, they're the type of people that uh, make me feel like my imposter syndrome is truly justified. See, I met one of my guests, Cisco, short for Francisco, but that's not important because by all intents and purposes, he's Cisco. See, I always knew him as Cisco and Cisco to me was always this, um, this kid that I knew once I went back to school to study music production, we've talked about that a lot on this show. It's a big part of my life. Cisco was one of those kids. And, and when I say kid, I don't mean that in a negative way. No, I was a 30-year-old going back to school with a bunch of 19 and 20-year-olds, all right? Cisco, I believe, might have been 21 at the time, maybe. Yeah, kid. But this kid was always better at everything that I was trying to learn in class. And I was never mad at it. I knew that I was just this old fool 
trying to learn music production without having ever studied music a single day in his life. I was in classes with people that were masters at the piano, masters at guitar, masters at singing, masters at music production or, or even wires and tech and anything. Masters at recording. What was I a master of? Making drinks as I showed up to class hungover from bartending the night before. And the funny thing is, I worked with so many young people that didn't know a damn thing about drinking that to them, I was this kind of, I don't know, savant at something. They're like, wow, you get to handle alcohol? Meanwhile, I'm like, wow, you know what a fifth is? You know what a major chord is? You can sing on key? You know what a key is? Oh my God. See, Cisco was the kid, the classmate, that if I ever had a class with him, oh, well, not even if I had a class with him, if I ever saw him in the halls or in the record or in the studio practicing, if I ever saw him anywhere, I was basically asking him for help on something, whether it's the latest homework assignment, why I can't open up a file on a computer, what the hell am I doing wrong, why does this sound this way, why am I getting feedback, anytime that I didn't know what the hell was going on, I asked Cisco and Cisco was look, would look at me and to his credit, Never once laughed at me once, even though every single time he was pretty much able to solve the problem like that. See, Cisco knows what he's doing, whether it's in DJing or in the studio. And he has patience for those that don't, like me, like your boy. I've been pretending to know what to do every step of the way, not only for this podcast, but throughout my entire life. And if you haven't figured that out through 60 episodes, well, I hope that you figure it out now. And in this episode, I think I learn a little bit why Francisco didn't just laugh every time that I asked him perhaps the most obvious and stupid questions possible. It's because he has a friend and perhaps even a little bit of a mentor himself that never did it to him, that being Alex. And in this episode, I don't only speak to Cisco about how he was kind to me in school while I tried to learn something I've never learned before. We learn that he experienced that same type of kindness from someone a little bit older than him in Alex. See, these two Chilean-born lovers of music did me the favor of visiting me and gracing me, gracing me with their presence on this show so that we could talk about how the two of them have now worked together to chase their dreams, their similar dreams of making it in an industry that doesn't want you to. That being the music industry. I've had Cisco DJ at, in my own backyard, I believe twice. I had him DJ in the infamous Vibe Fest 2 festival that I put on that I've talked about at, at nauseum and in detail on this podcast. And guess what? We talk about it again. Um, Cisco is just a reliable dude that I'm happy was on this show. And I think I learned a lot about him because I learned a lot about Alex in this episode. And you see why these two are very driven and why they're very intent on achieving some, some dreams that for some may seem wild. But when you talk to these guys, they suddenly don't seem that wild at all. They seem very attainable. They seem very realistic. People like me, with these grandiose dreams of, of wanting to make it in, in, in comedy, in DJing, and hell, even this, in podcasting. I think it's important that I know people like this that show you that it's okay to have these, these dreams as long as you've got the work ethic behind it to try to make it happen. This conversation was going so well that we didn't end it at the two-hour mark. No, instead, in fact, we went over three hours and that's why even though for the past month by the way if you've if you've noticed i've been getting pretty good at keeping these conversations a little bit compact that didn't happen this time and i'm sorry so actually i'm not sorry i'm sorry that i'm not sorry i was very happy to talk to these two gentlemen for over three hours in fact it was closer to three and a half to four hours today 
you get part one of that conversation of how these two came together to form what is known as global goal music. What is global goal music? That's a great question that I'm not going to answer for you. I'm going to let them answer that for you. But before I do that, let me get this shit out the way. Can I talk my shit again? Let me talk to you. Yeah. Do me a favor and follow me on all platforms. I'm Will Bryant. You can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, I mean X, on Threads, on Twitch, on Spotify, on YouTube. Please follow me, like, subscribe, review, all that good shit. It's three words. I'm Will Bryant, B-R-Y-A-N-T, like Kobe. And now that I got the self-promotion out of the way, I hope you guys will enjoy part one of my conversation with Alex and with Cisco, part one of Global Go, go blah, blah, blah. Yep, yep, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't stick the landing. I didn't stick the landing. I was doing so good. <sighs> oh, you know what that means, guys. You know what that means. The show is ruined. Ruined the show. I almost made I almost made it past the intro. I almost almost made it. Fuck. Whatever. Part one. Global Gold Music. Cisco. Alex. Here you go. <laughs> Mic check over there. Mic check one, two. Mic check, my check. Yep, yep. And you? Yeah. So I'm checking and it's an Audio Technica mic. So I feel like it's pretty good mic. I have the same one. I believe it's a 250. Oh, yeah? Is it? Or maybe it could be a 210. That, the, the one that you have? The one that I have. Oh, nice, nice. These, but, are, um, these are the good old trusty SM58s. The Warriors. I know. Warriors. Yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> the legend, the myth. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Thank you for that. Oh, I didn't like that noise. There we go. Oh, there we go. Salute, guys. Salute, Salute guys. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming. I figured Modelo for three Latinos talking would, would be appropriate. Right? You, couldn't, you couldn't have chosen the best one. The best. Modelo is your favorite? Modelo, actually, yeah. When it comes to like the very simple, let's get something quick, like a light beer, Modelo is my first to go. Okay. He knows about it. And he always, be, he always beats about it. You know, for <laughs> some that? reason, he's like, oh, you didn't get like Stella. But that was before like when... You were drinking, you know, with me or sometimes he was like, why you didn't get a Stella, you know, or something. Or some people would be like, ah, oh, why you didn't get like a Tecate. Really? Like, yeah. You, you got you got pushback from the Modelo? I thought Modelo makes everybody happy. I don't know. I want to say it the is, same, right? It is. You like, it is. Yeah, like, so you used to drink? I used to drink a lot. Oh. That's the thing. That's, like, you know, it's, it's, it depends on the, now, like, uh, the project need more focus. Oh, Wait, so you drink depending on what you're doing? Or you just don't drink No, at all? no, I just have it because we, now we, we push it hard. What, the project or the With drinking? all the projects that oh, we okay. have. It, it needs to be more disciplined in, in my in my case. It's like I wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. I was going to say, it sounds like it's a discipline thing. Yeah, while you're it not, is. I do not have that. <laughs> it's, it's Wait, just, it's bro, it's not way. easy. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, it's not easy. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's a natural thing, you know, like... Everybody say, oh, let's go to drink. Yeah, let's go to drink. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But I'm still drinking like I can drink juice and I feel good, you know. But people don't feel like, oh. He's and they a... feel, the people feel mm -hmm. a little bit oh, uncomfortable yeah, yeah. with Because if you don't tell them that what you're drinking, it passes. Yeah, yeah. If like, not, if you guy? if they know, they feel like, oh, shit, I'm drinking alone. Right, of course. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is a, like a little tricky. Well, if it was just you and me, I would probably only drink water and coffee. I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't drink beer but because cisco's drinking then i feel okay oh wow so i'm the one because of you 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 uh, are a bad influence on me today alex was the good influence and cheers for that guys. i always cheers follow for that, man. i always follow the bad influence. <laughs> <laughs> the angels on your shoulder i never listen to the the good one i listen to the devil on always, the, always oh, the devil what is on the left or the right no, well the devil has to be left right the angel's the right hand Right, and the devil is on the left. It has to be, I'm pretty sure. No, nah, yeah, but totally in my perspective too. I I've slowed down a lot with it. The same deal, it's just because it gets too much. Uh, when you're in the industry too, you have a lot of friends that are into the same. Yeah, not just a party in life, but just a music style too. So mm -hmm. sometimes 
you will go visit some other people and there you go there you have a drink on you especially all of a sudden you're buying the it, whole table yeah you so. just said the industry we're in i mean dj's drinking becomes part of it like it it almost becomes you go to a club the owner's like you know drinks on the house or whatever and by the end of your set you're drunker than the people dancing to your music a lot of times i feel yeah a lot of time that that, that shit happens like let's put an example about the when when you go to that to the another like it do, to don't drink the people see another stuff yeah see, see like how far you can go it depends on where, where you're thinking like in like like say in our projects is like we we don't do like the first step that we did like five years ago correct now we expanded a lot so it means it need more energy and we are not the five years younger that right. we used to be when like we was calling friends let's go to three no let's let's do the project let's do the construction thing it was like boxes and boxes yeah of course we do it at that time <laughs> but later on it's kind of it's difficult in point because when I started to do the studio, I, I, I was doing it high because that was my, my motivation being in the backyard, saying though I was li I was living in the next to La Guardia, so yeah. I was I seen the, the planes like, oh, I can beat that plane when I go back to Chile, you know. But you would do it high, you said. Yeah, I built the studio <laughs> high, like completely high, like like I was thinking I was seeing the the the. the Airplanes. Yeah, yeah. In my story, my mind it goes to that way. Yeah, you were what you I'm focused. Yeah, what I'm going to do? I was a smoking way in the back. You're like, what I'm going to when I go back to Chile? So no, which, which one is going to be my story? Oh, I got a studio, and then I'm, that was the click to to, to my motivation. Say, okay, I need to go down. So really, yeah, when you were staring at a plane in the sky. No, I was no, I was I was staring literally, literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally. Yeah, yeah, because later on it was like I was putting music and I was high like like a multi multi multitask. Yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. sanding this this wall, putting the screw in the other one. I was forgetting something. I was skipping to this. I was like multiple things. Mm -hmm. But later on, I had to stop. To smoke so you don't smoke either now I, sometimes you know socially barely, social, barely. Like, really like, said. Nah, just, you said that much. like you miss it like like he doesn't smoke with me anymore i don't know no no <laughs> the contrary but you know I, Cause I you, like, you smoke right yeah or did you slow I've down too slow, i've been slowing down too. okay no not that not as crazy but yeah i've been slowing down a little bit sometimes i feel like i need it just to but it's not a matter of me wanting it it's more of a matter of like i have to go to sleep and wake up early Okay. So I would do like some puffs, like at night. If I'm with friends, I'll do it at night mainly. Mm -hmm. But I try try to avoid it when it comes to like just joy, because as he said, you start losing focus. You start when you're high or drunk or whatever. You start have multiple ideas coming to you, and you're losing the focus of what's the actual goal. That, that was that was my problem because when I finished to do all the construction thing, it becomes the time to mix. Mm -hmm. So I didn't, I, my, 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 the, the whole thing, it was like, I, all right, I have $20,000. What am I going to do? I go to, to the school. I'm going to spend my money on the school. And then after four, three years, I'm going to go and going out. I need to start to invest in equipment or investing in equipment and learning the process through the years. Yeah. So I can run, you know, because I'm self learning like. See, see, I'm so stupid. If I had twenty thousand dollars, I'd be like, "All right, half of that is for weed and alcohol, and then the <laughs> other half, I would really know. I would really think I have ten thousand for a studio, and I have ten thousand for drugs and alcohol." But it was, it, mean, it was, it was another point. It was another point that I have zero dollars, so that's why. So I say I'm gonna start to saving, yeah, or investing it right away in like the chirag and stuff like that. Yeah. So whatever I went, then construction places. I was telling like, oh, I'm building a studio, building a studio. So a lot of people, they was giving me like Chirac, uh, all the construction things that I needed oh, really? for free. So yeah. you do, wait, get a little bit closer to the mic. I think both of you guys could yeah. sound a little bit better if you get a little bit closer. Um, so you, your side or your, I guess the way you pay, paid for the studio was through construction work? Uh, the equipment of the studio. Uh, because it, it, and, and construction or, or material, but it wasn't that, that much. But at the end, like I think in four years, three years gap, how I'm gonna make the move? Okay, I can save them the, that money, or I can buy the interface. Like everybody started, you know. Yeah. But the problem for, it was after that, 
when uh, when I set it down, started to learn how to use Pro Tools and all logic and all that. I my, my natural self it was like do multiple things. Yeah. Because that that what I was doing, the smoking and get like multitask. I set it down and I was like, what did, I'm, what I'm did doing? Did you here? teach yourself? Because me and Cisco, yeah, me and Cisco met at at uh we went. I went back to school. Like in, it was your first time at school, right? Correct, That's how right. much younger that you are than me. Um, but you are self taught. Yeah, yeah. How did you start doing that? Because I I. I kind of envy that that the ability for for you to like pick some to me i still struggle with pro tools like every every day so i couldn't imagine me like not asking professor anderson 20 times a class why can, why is it not doing what i want to do <laughs> yeah, and, um, yeah, so I, how was that process for you it's the need is what you want literally is yeah. what if you uh, want it need. like you 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 need it you need to learn even if you don't like it it's, it's time consuming sure was it youtube videos was it youtube videos and books yeah yeah and fucked it up a lot of times <laughs> like, you know yeah. you know a lot of fails a lot of like a lot of project lose but it was a beginning but uh, even before that and just want to add more to your story because even before that alex back then when he was our age i don't know how old is he now no, no, but when he was younger, let's say. <laughs> thank you, thank you. When he was younger. I try to not ask my guests how old they are. That's what I'm talking about. By the looks. You know, when you, when you look so, like, by the looks, you so, look to you like, can tell who's younger than that. But, <laughs> but you could tell that Alex always had a passion with music. Okay. So I feel like also that played a huge game on him because he was already doing a type of business related with music back then. Yeah. And then he, it's just a matter of switching. Now it's it's the studio that he wanted, and uh, he switched back into it, mixing. Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. Because it's always about, about the music. I started as a DJ. I was going to ask. I, and after okay. that, like, I started as a DJ, like, 12. At and 12? At 12. Okay. Like, the, my, my brother, my old brother, he got uh, equipment and all that. He used to make parties. Okay. And and he, is, he go to travel and all that. Uh, for work reasons mm -hmm. and he left all the stuff so oh, i nice. pick it up yeah and then i started with that passion but it was like like trying to uh, figure it out what i want sure, or how yeah. i like it in the way and then like in my 19 i was running three clubs wow yeah part is like what, what is that here or back no home? Back, back 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 home chile um when did you come here to new york like my 21s Okay, like I don't. 20, okay, I don't 20, know how old. 20 years. <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20, yeah, 20, 20 years ago, twenty two oh, years okay. ago. So now we know how old you are. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That Thank wasn't you. the point of that. that, that, that Let's keep it a secret. Though, I know. Right? It wasn't a good strategy, right? <laughs> you do the math. He's gonna put it on the screen like ping fifty three. Oh. <laughs> Oh man! No. Guess the number. Right. Guess the number. Guess the number right. Remember when I said people don't usually ask me to edit the podcast? You're gonna hit me up tomorrow. I'm like, can you take out my age? No, <laughs> no, 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 it's not, not a problem. Of people you need know. to be you, proud. No, of but you can just use some AI on the vocal and just uh, be like 53 to 33. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just like some automatic. <laughs> no. So you started DJing in in Chile. I'm so, guessing this was self taught too. Or yeah. did your brother ever teach yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was that thing. Like, like I, I was I always tell them my stories. Like, you know, now the technology is so advanced. Sure. Right. Yeah. But back in the days, like in my twelve, you you the the lightings for the club it was built in different ways. Okay. So I was going with my 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 good friends. Like a we like a guitar center, or all those future responsible. Okay, is a we was going like, oh, can you turn on that light? And mm -hmm. we was literally being in front of the light, like oh, with all the light in our in our eyes, eyes. Like okay, but we're trying to figure it out. What was the components inside that things? And then we got to trying to reply that stuff. So what was the club scene like in Chile back then? Oh. Uh, I mean, from what I remember, my youth, I remember even when I was like an eight-year-old, there were parties like that. And it, I don't want to compare Wait, to... I thought you were Colombian. No, I'm from Chile, too. Oh, my God. All right. How oh. Have... I don't know why I thought you were from Colombia. I don't know. Should we start over? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's ruined. It's ruined. Misrepresented yourselves. <laughs> but right. okay. I wanted to say that in Chile, I think from what you could see back then compared to other Latin countries... 
and maybe we could include Argentina, is like a lot of different styles of music will go there, you know? Let's say if you could ever think of like the biggest, I don't know, whatever, whatever name, whatever rap mm -hmm. uh, festival or techno festival, let's say Lollapalooza, you yeah. can only find it in Chile and Argentina. Yeah, that's true. Chile there does are, host some really eclectic festivals. Yeah, totally. Yeah, right. Like there's always like, like a big three days, fan. three yeah. days, twenty artists or even three, like three metal. Stages. Like you guys host like metal. Yeah, like festivals even Lollapalooza. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah. is the biggest. So they have they do it like a. It's not a. It's not a stereo stadium, but it's sort of like. A, it's not like a field or it's something. It's like a huge like street. Think about it like a huge street. Really. And okay. next to it, there's like a like an arena. So in the arena, it's more DJs, but on the outside, that's oh, pure metal. Yeah, that's pure. Yeah. So I remember in my youth, yeah, looking at. I mean, Alex can tell you in his twenty, but when I, when even when I was younger, there were still good parties, and I don't even want to compare, but like better than the ones that I had in high school over here. Yeah, really. And I'm talking about like I was like 11, 12 years old because uh, even in the same schools, the schools were so big that they would make up massive parties, inviting people from the from another from TV, schools, yeah, from other schools from the TV have famous people in it too and me as a student i would get a discount huh. to go to those parties it yeah. was crazy it was crazy like that it, it was between a mix of like the classic latin music you could always think of like reggaeton and, and all that and uh at the same time you had the other styles i feel were more into electronic music there were clubs for that if you were into whatever did you did you hear a lot of electronic music growing up back in chile yes yeah, started from my dad actually. Really? Yeah, my dad used to have these uh, CDs from Tiesto playing at Sensation White. Oh, wow. And he was into like some trance. So pretty much my dad put me on into the like, electronic. Wow. But you know, um, my subconscious, I guess, or my country itself wasn't really paying attention to it. Mm -hmm. It was just like dope music. I like it. But then I was also into like more of the Latin stuff, more of the urban stuff. Mm -hmm. like, back then when reggaeton was coming out, every kid, everyone was listening to that style of music. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I had a perspective of, like, how was the old house, how was the old trance. But then I had to, I don't know, I was just liking other styles. And then when I grew up, maybe when I was 15, 16, I started liking it again, this scene, because I started to see more, you know. You drifted around. away for a little bit from electronic music? Um, When I was a kid, yeah. But I, I, I got to say that even back then, I really didn't want to be a DJ. I think I was more into like architecture. So f to me, oh, it was wow. more like, let's go party mm -hmm. and then go back home, study, wow. whatever I had to study. But then, you know, things change. You know? When did that switch happen? When did you realize, I don't think I want to be an I architect? I guess it was a mixture between the, um, my brother also getting into it. And he was older than me. So he was getting into the scenes and he was going to like these clubs for like older people, let's say. And he would talk to me about it, show me videos and music. And then all of a sudden, I see like Ultra for the first time coming with like a live streaming festival, which mm. was like the very first time, I think 2011, 2012. Okay. And I was able to see that, yeah. and see the DJs playing. And then back then, I was thinking like the controllers were, they were making music on the spot. You know? <laughs> so it was, to me, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To me, it was amazing. I didn't understand anything. Of course, yeah. But I, it's in, in, in South America, let's say, they consume a lot of music. A yeah. lot of music. Mm -hmm. Like, they know, probably they know more more than us. So what were, for both of you guys, what was your first love in music? Because I, for me, people ask me, well, oh, what do you DJ? And I tell them I, I mostly do electronic, but my first love was hip hop. My so, hip hop too. Yeah, right. hip hop? Yeah. How about you? It's hard to say. Really? It's hard to say because when I, I, I like a lot of styles, but when I started the career, when I wanted to DJ, I was into some weird uh, style, like hard style. Okay. It's like this very hard knocking kicks. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, you, so you got, got different that. Cisco's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got different Cisco no, faces. You got, you got different Cisco. Cisco, hard style Cisco, then Cisco went to dubstep. And then oh, you had a dubstep. I had a dubstep. Huh? Yeah, okay. you know, I was in Webster Hall like crazy ah. you know, for like I remember a whole summer inside that club. Yeah, I think we all had a uh, well, people. Are, well, I was gonna say people our age, but like I don't know about I don't know if it was if Webster Hall was that thing for you, but I know a lot of people that had a Webster Hall phase, like at least two or three summers in our youth or whatever. We were just one of those kids in or young adults right. in Webster Hall, almost. Almost every weekend, but at yeah. least once a month, maybe twice a month. I remember the year that I went a lot. It was just because every time I would go out of the, of, yeah, I came out of the club. Like literally, the party finished. I would come out, and uh, 
the security will come and give us free tickets for the next week. Oh, that's right. So that's I, I do remember really, they do I shit like that. Early spending, the, <laughs> yeah, early yeah. spending money inside go, there yeah. and just going crazy. And they would have like if you look back at the DJs that they would have, like it's they had like they they had DJs that turned out to be huge. That turned out A to be almost legends. So yeah, they started in the basement. Mm -hmm. They started like in the basement, watched their whole some smaller than a hundred people. Yeah, like, you fit in, and all of a sudden you see them now playing big gigs, big festivals. Yeah, but that place is it was a, it was pretty good to the interaction to, you know, with different kind of genders of music. Correct, like genres. Because like, you had it was, like what three floors? Some, like yeah, to me yeah. it was it was amazing because you was moving up and. You got another party. You got another party. Yeah, that's, that's what true, I like, yeah. actually. Yeah. I like the party. So, like, to, to be in to the same place like and three options. I don't think I've been there since they had the new ownership. So, I don't know if it's the same. same. I haven't been there since then. I don't know. Then. I don't know. I, never, I, I, I get the the year membership. I think, like, I, I go to that oh, level. Yeah, yeah I go to that, that level. And then later on, it was, like, yeah. after it, after the year, like, I don't know. I, I stopped to go. But it was, it was a good time. It was... I had a great no. time with that website. Time. Did you do Pasha a lot back then? Pasha too. I was able to go to Pasha, but I was into the U18s. And then uh, my, by my 18s, I actually went a few times too. But after that, since they shut down, yeah, yeah. Um, it was like whatever. Like I already lived that experience. But that club was great. It has a lot of history too. Mm -hmm. Even it, But um, the times that I used to go... They will have like this big room, like the very yeah, main yeah. DJ on the main stage, mm -hmm. and the actual style that I like now, let's say techno house. They will have it in the smaller room, you know. But that was only for U18, and then for 21 Plus and all that, it was mainly techno. It was mainly house. Where they had, oh, like, so they would have U18 rooms while other rooms would be 21 Plus? No, no they will have U18 parties for the whole with night. Two rooms, yeah, but the, the smaller room will have like just techno yeah, house yeah. when in reality every, every party that was like 21 over they were more into that style yeah but yeah. since they were bringing it. these big ass DJs like show tech they was putting the, the, the little tech. ones you just on the way me, right yeah they were you just changing. took me back with show tech I have not thought about that name in a long no. time they used to be they used to be great imagine now <laughs> now they're not showing any tech <laughs> <laughs> no technicality now I have no idea what's up with them did but, you have um, a big room phase Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Because you strike me as too cool for ever liking Big Room. Like, <laughs> like, you just became a techno star. I gotta say that a lot of the styles that I, I heard, I always I always tell people, I used to listen to it. Now that I listen to it, like the evolution of this type of music, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. it, it, just, it just has a different vibe. Music-wise and production-wise, it's amazing, it's crazy. I find it, you know the mind of the producers like how scrutinized have to be with every single detail on the song mm -hmm. however when it comes to like but you could put can you put in an actual party i'm really not into that because the music ah. is just too structured so let's say big room yes i used to like the things from 2009 2010 we yeah, had yeah, like yeah. this guy called like nari and milani which was like a techno with big room it was pretty dope hardwell in the beginnings was pretty dope show tech Dimitri Vegas, man, I can name you a lot. Dimitri Vegas, and like, like, like yeah. when they first started, they were yeah. throwing pretty good big rooms. But you know, I I always started shifting, and then when I started shifting, I started realizing that at the end of the day, I just like music in general, mm -hmm. dude. And and that turned me into more like an open format DJ rather than just stay on one style, because at the end of the day, I would get depressed because you know when the music is evolving. And you think it's for the better. And, you know, you always have that. Everyone has these discussions like, oh, all school was better. All school was sure, better. Yeah. Just because they know that back then they had, a, they had a style. It was fit for a party. And now it's just so different. And you, and you start questioning, like, is it really good to, like, play for other people? Or just to just enjoy the music? But, so but that's you, where I started, like, opening up more. You, as, you know, now it's more difficult to find, like, you, a lot of people copy because the technology runs so fast. So, you know, a lot of people can do the same thing. Like, yeah. like back in the days... It was a it, it was gold when you find a good DJ. Say, oh shit, I got I got this and I got this. Mm. It could be in a CD, it could be in a cassette, it can be in a vinyl, whatever. But it was a like precious, like a gold, and you save and you play good music. Now right. you just go and you got a bunch of artists, bunch of DJs, and then 
like a DJ and DJs, you you know you know what I'm talking about when when you say all of them doing the same the same the drops they right, go right. They, they, it's, it's so so square mm -hmm. you know and like what we're doing we work in the studio we're recording we do with like uh, we products we we mixing we do we know all that we have more value to the good music and say to the music what is repeated like it, it depends on what we like or what we are gonna bring yeah because like I like hip hop I like to play the, the hip hop mixings but the nineties. Because if you go to to the new music, it's kind of the same thing. Like it, in back in the day, they used to have their own style, and that was the only way to shine. Huh. So when they they when you go to this time, it's difficult to shine when you repeat the same path. Huh. So when somebody break down the line, yeah. boom, explode, right. explode. So. It, I all, I, we always have this type of conversation like oh I like this yeah I like this but you know I like this all the type of music because it's more groovy because you know we listen more the the percussion more the the, 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 the sounds right and based on that we know like we are psychologists like oh, based on that we know what to bring to the people in any kind of music. you touched on something that I I want to actually uh, get a little bit deeper in. But before let, let's uh, do me a favor, you move in a little bit more. It's not a mic thing; it's more of a camera thing because we gotta have you oh. in a little bit more so that we can see both your beautiful or, or faces just, at the same you know, time. Do this, slide it out, so you can just zoom out now. <laughs> yeah, let's let's make my zoom out let's make my watchers do all the work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's gonna get us all the views. <laughs> yeah, now just to have it. This is for you guys uh, out there. You guys should realize this is the first time. I'm having two guests on at the same time. So it's big, big things happening here. And I could, by the way, I could not have done it without these guests bringing their own gear to this podcast to help me connect an grow, extra grow, life. Grow, hey, grow, we know <laughs> Will for a while. That's a blessing. <laughs> That's a blessing. I know Will for a while, and I know like your mission or what do you want to do for your people. I thought great. you were gonna be like, I know Will for a while, and he's never prepared. No. <laughs> <laughs> So I just brought it just in case. Man, I just have with you good in camera. And then that's no, 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 no. That's no, no. Word. <laughs> he was he was worried about that. Like we always worry about. Like now is is our language. Oh, we we need to go to there. Okay. Correct. Uh, what is the 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 the, the equipment or yeah, whatever? Yeah. Wait, did he need something? Yeah, I don't know. Like, but that's stuff. also that's also the 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 not just the producers that's the djs in you where like we're always worried about like almost like having backup cables and like totally. extra yeah like we're worried about what could always go wrong and i think that that maybe that's why you guys were came so prepared to be guests on this show because like uh, you yes. you helped me put together the i would literally you guys would have to share one mic if you guys didn't bring your own gear and that just wouldn't have been the same no, you know, but, you so. know. No, but we understand the rigs and we understand. We know, we know that. We As we said before, you know, we don't want to lose focus on things like that. And when of it comes course. to music, recording, or something like that, the beauty about it is that it's not perfect, but at the same time, it has to be perfect. Mm. You know, if you want to get into more of the music theory wise, that's different. But let's say when it comes to recording, everything has a sequence. Yeah. Everything has a sequence from my voice to the mic. The, to the details computer. make the difference. And yeah. one, yeah, one thing goes bad and this thing is over 100 percent, yeah and you know that's something that in the music industry in any aspect you can't risk it at all yeah. that that, that costs millions that that's happened to us when we did uh, the podcast the, the live streaming okay and uh, well we started and all that but we didn't know the 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 switch the camera switch that we have right oh. so obviously we work with the obs and all everything but we have the first guest and that guess he was a rapper, uh, Ray Chester. Shout out to Ray Chester. That's he was person. he was pretty like he was on point. Like, okay, I want to be with you guys. I want to help you out and all that. But we have a little we have a noise in the audio, and he liked to freestyle. He liked to the whole all his style. He put it out for the best, right? Yeah, yeah. We have the all the visual, but the audio is is, is fucking. Is, it was unusable. Trash. And it's you trash. Know, we check, we check, we check, and then we start realizing that it's not even the equipment; it's the outlets. 
Oh, one of them is going like the ground maybe wasn't working. The ground, well and it was something. like more than more than that. And yeah. that getting gets into the audio, and that fits into the switch. So imagine things like that can happen. We, and, was that episode salvageable? Could you use it? Or we no? we were using a dimmer. Okay. So the dimmer we're trying to put uh, to dim it down right. for the ambient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that it was making a noise on the grounding system and the electrical stuff. And so and whenever we connected. Well, we have that little noise, yeah. we, and we cannot take it out. Well, I think with the AI, we can do it now. We AI, yeah, yeah, probably detected by itself, you know. <laughs> yeah, if I we, we can take it out. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If because it in the because meantime, until, so. until today, the, that guy said, like, yo, Alex, when are you going to put out the, the interview? And, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. like with our, our uh, live streaming, it was like two hours. Mm -hmm. With him, we did three hours. He was doing freestyle, like from his mind yeah. and all that. Amazing material. Lost. Like it's still there, but you yeah, still there. To but try. How, do you, how do you fix Unusable. it? Unusable. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's got so, to be useful. That's uh, I haven't had anything too terrible happen with this podcast that way. Um, uh, but that's like one of my biggest fears is ha wasting. I don't want to waste a guest time. You know, like it's. I, it's I'm less afraid for me. I'm more. I don't want to be that embarrassed. Yeah. yeah no, but it's always happened. Like, like it's it, when you're recording. When you're recording, you don't save. And something oh, happened with the yeah, yeah, like computer crash, yeah. and you have so two hours just, recording. Forget yeah, about it. Yeah, you, they want to kill you. Like <laughs> they the want spot. to kill you. Like, That's true. Spot. Yeah, it's not your fault, but it was your fault that too was, because you yeah. didn't. You never say. Yeah, you know? yeah. But little little details make the difference. This is mm -hmm. like that. And you know, we're looking at it as like uh, I don't want to use these terms, but like we're looking at this like a very microeconomic aspect. Mm -hmm. Imagine people are on TV. They, yeah. break, they break their head off. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You see a mistake like that, seconds are millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. Seconds of dollars. So it's just a matter of that. When you start learning this, um, of course, we, we are mad extra in that perspective of bringing extra cable, extra, because you never know. One one wire can go wrong. And even for DJs, us, you know, uh, it happened to us when we had to take over on this spot in downtown. And usually... Now, a lot of the machines they have, they're standalone, so you, you don't really need a computer with it. Mm -hmm. And we have our songs in our flash drive. Yeah. And we put it in, and it wasn't working, wasn't reading. Oh. So imagine, I have all my music in that. And it won't read. And it won't read. Now, do, what do I do? I can't play any music. What did you do? We, uh, thank God, they had a different machine, a too. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah? Yeah, they had another console, too. Okay. And also older kind of broken but we play around with it we play with that and then when we realize it it was like wow we could have you know we could have saved so much time we could have done that rather yeah. than well we, we learn in the process it. like everybody could have done well how could you have prevented that if they was there well we realized that the flash drive sometimes uh they don't come with the same format mm -hmm. yeah so we, we didn't format the yeah. usb which is oh. connected and we run the, we the music it and just change the format when we need the to flash drive. Yeah. and you know it happens when when some that's why you have like flash drives or equipment that just works with Macs. yeah someone that works with windows yeah and you yeah, have yeah. to just find the format that works with both Jeez. You know, so it just things like that, things like that, that by experience, you start realizing that this could happen, this could happen, this right, could happen, right, right. let me know. Because at the end of the day, it's still our job, it's still entertainment, what we want to do. Mm -hmm. And if we can make it perfect for the people, that's per perfect for us, you know. But you know, it was, uh, even the, the same time for us is like a learning process and that that's the best for, for me. That's the best thing that can happen, even if, even if that is the fucked up situation. Of course, yeah, yeah. Later on, it's like... Well, we learn something. Right. We learn. We always learn. We're always trying to keep it that energy. Yeah. And and he he's starting to like to do the same thing because we used to like get frustrated with that. Of course. Like we everything. But later on it was like, yo, chill down. Let's see, let's figure it out. And we're learning in the process. Later on we know. We we both know the same thing. I think it was Professor Anderson that might have um said this once in one of my classes. Shout out to Anderson. Yeah, one of the best I miss teacher. That. He was one of the best teachers I've ever one had. Thank teacher, you, Professor Anderson. Very Hopefully patient. He's still there. He's so patient. So patient. Um, <laughs> yes. It's funny, I loved him and I loved Professor Jackson, but the opposite types of teachers. One had oh. no patience and would treat you terribly but I love them and then Professor Anderson all the patients in the world treated, teach, uh, treated you with like love and respect yeah. at all let, times let me add something extra to that Professor Jackson I mean even though he didn't love you and all that he was telling you the cruel reality right and something that thanks to him I kind of learned how to you know 
perceive the um, the business yes. when it comes to music mm -hmm. because he told me it's very cold. He was acting cold because it's cold. Because it was cold, cold to yeah, him. It's, it's very yeah, cold. It's nasty. Yeah, because he's yeah. successful and he's had to deal with that shit. Yeah. Professor, we're talking about Professor Ernie Jackson from. We went to. Me and Cisco knew each other from Queensboro Community College, uh, which actually has a, a pretty good music production program I with think some one excellent of the best teachers. For, comu for community college? For one community best, college, you might write. Bang for your buck. Yeah, I would say so. Um, and Ernie Jackson has uh, is extremely successful, but any. Anything that he was saying that was mean or any way that he was acting that was mean was in it of itself a lesson. Correct. He wasn't just teaching us how to use programs. He was teaching us how to work in an industry that has no mercy for people. Right. 100%. So, so he had no mercy for I us. Remember, I remember he was uh, one, one time this, we had to make a song for like digital sequence, I think, and one of my classmates i remember mm -hmm. charles he showed his project and he was laughing at it oh my god i have a charles yeah. story too that's crazy <laughs> yo charles I mean, don't get me wrong I, I was laughing with with jackson too yeah. but at the same time wow professor really like laughing in his lit, face lit and him yeah. up because <laughs> for me that was crazy bro. it wasn't that digital because was we we barely had any classes together. i think we might have like only one class together but uh i had a class with, with charles i almost feel bad using his name <laughs> um <laughs> but uh I, I don't know his last name so thank god um but like i um i was a, i was always i was a good nine years older than like most of the people that i was in class with so i i had a little bit of maturity or or like humility that i probably wouldn't have had if i was 20 with you guys are 21 as well right. so um <laughs> jackson would get frustrated with me when i would defend my classmates you know i'd be like all right we get it you know like take it easy you know he's like no one's gonna take it easy on him or whatever there was a moment where um charles presented the a final project for i, I believe it was sound design and B professor jackson gave us clear rules you're not allowed to do this you're not allowed to do that you're not allowed to do this I don't know if Charles said, I'm going to do the opposite of everything my professor just said, but the three things that he said we're not allowed to do, Charles did all of those three things. Oh. <laughs> and like, we were all, the classroom, we were all watching his like final project and you could just, he, you could feel everyone in the class start to just get tense because they know they're about, that Charles is about oh. to get crucified, you know? Yes. And I don't, I'm not going to lie, I've never felt more bad for a fellow student in my entire life than Ernie Jackson eviscerating Charles's final project in sound design. Like, and it was so bad that normally I would have been like, I'm always, I was always a guy that if you had a shitty song that no one wanted to say anything good about, I'd be like, I really liked the, the clap, you know, or like I'd say anything positive, you know, because right. I felt bad with Charles. I was just like, Good I luck, can't. Bro. I can't say shit. this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but he got to that point, you know. He got to that point that he was so honest yeah. about it. Yeah. And it would. Don't get me wrong, Professor Jackson. He he looks intimidated because he's a six what six two. Mm -hmm. He's kind of like big six guy. two, big guy with dreadlocks like, down to like his back. Yeah. But but also in his way, he probably did Charles a favor because honestly, he probably shouldn't be working in this industry. Correct. You know, like I know you have dreams and whatnot, but if you can't. That's someone that like you know like I, I took I yeah, took those. But it's, it's not for everybody. Like no. you know that like you can roll it. That does that's that probably always happen. Mm -hmm. Now now younger younger they just borrow the controller. They think they're DJ. Right. You know they they have a, a computer and they. They set it up something. They think the producer. They have they, FL, they, 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 fruity loops. They, and they, they have, yeah, they're ready I, to go. I mean, it's still being a good uh, uh, software. But the name is it take years. Like it's, yeah, yeah. it's a whole path. Like I was telling to my, to my like to my friends, bro. If this is to death. You like the music you, straight up. You need to go home, go hard, or don't go. Mm -hmm. Go hard, or go home. Bro. Yeah, yeah. Like you literally, you need to be on point with it. Whatever you do, at least make some steps because it's the it's the whole life story. So. You better make a good story with with your with your movie. You know, if you're gonna die like everybody else, 
At least you smile at the end, at, at the last second, you know. Yeah, I did it. You know? <laughs> I did mean, what I like, you know. I have a party, I have like, you know, I have everything. I travel a lot with this and this and that. But it's not, it's not for everybody. Like, you, uh, you said something a couple of minutes ago that really um, kind of piqued my interest. And you were talking about how the technology nowadays, <clears throat> excuse me, it's making it easier for people to... to get their foot in to start mm -hmm. but because of how easy it is the their i guess desire to sound unique is less and don't take me wrong the music is, is gonna like in any way is gonna die mm -hmm. the only one who is gonna survive is the one the the, the ones like because everybody can do even i i hate you can't have for everything you can have stems when you never have the stem when you look you used to look at the back part and the B side of the vinyl to have the instrumental to to make remixes mm. or the capellas. Now no, you yeah, teach just press skills, a click, you, know, you one reasons. click and you have the stems. Right. You right. know, now yeah. you got uh, like uh, controllers that you can take it out for one button. You have all the technology. So the craft is not something like you can get it for free. Right. It's years. Yeah, it's a craft. It's, it's a career. It's, mm -hmm. it's something that you like, that you love. It's like a, a mechanic, you know. You I cannot be mechanic like in fixing cars, like if I don't like the cars. I prefer to pay somebody else who love the cars. Mm. Right, exactly. You know, so the music, right. everybody think like, oh, yeah, I can play too. Yeah. And then later on, they, they drop the yeah. ball. Like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, have a, I have a boss. And he, oh, I used to be a DJ. Why you still play? Like, I was like, I, I even get mad like you. <laughs> <laughs> you still play. It's yeah, like, but, like, like yeah. no, you know, mature is coming, and you know, I ah, oh, you dropped the ball. Mm -hmm. So you you wasn't a real DJ. You just like it. Do you still DJ? Yeah. Okay. I still like. I don't think I'm gonna stop it. Like we, like pull up tomorrow. In my, in my, in my, in my, <laughs> literally, yeah. Literally pull up I, tomorrow. I come on and like. Oh, that's true. I do. I know started about your as a DJ pass it like because I want to do something. Like a uh, uh, audiovisual okay. career, yeah, and it was it wasn't possible. But I studied some electronics, so the the closer one it was to do the internship in a TV channel. So I've been in TV channel like a different mm -hmm. ones in Chile and in New York too. So I always been involved in that. When my time to build the the studio, I was doing and learning, self learning, engineering, mixing, mastering, and all that, recording. But the all the the DJ the DJ never die, you know. When I come nice. back, it, like I, I enjoy it. He, he he asked me the last week, like, why are you laughing about? Like you you look like me like you. Oh, okay. Every time I was like doing the transition of the song, and you know you always get into like the downbeat of this next song, so boom, and then the song starts. Let's say. Mm -hmm. So he would look at me and laugh like, oh. oh. Like so, in my head, I was like, "Is this song whack? Like, did I do something <laughs> wrong?" Of me. Like, he making fun of me because I'm went, putting like. He went back to me like straight up, "Yo, why are you laughing about?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, that was why are you laughing about? Why, wait, why were you laughing? It, because I like it. Oh, you were just don't enjoy it. Uh, and yeah. that was that was that was. I told him, "Look, you need to put it down your yourself, like because you like music. If you like music, you need to enjoy it at the fullest. You are the DJ." So you cannot be so serious. If you like the music, enjoy it because you never know when the when, when the, the show one. when yeah. the show is, mm. is going to stop. So if you don't enjoy it now, why are you waiting for tomorrow? No, it's right now, right here. Enjoy the music. You play the music, so you make sure to play sometimes what the people like. But the DJ make the party, not the people make the party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you don't enjoy it. What is the energy that come out? Right. So at the end of the day, this might sound a little egocentric, but you, you could tell for yourself because uh, you're a bartender, right? Mm -hmm. Like everyone in the club, and I learned that from him, that uh, anyone that works in whatever it's a restaurant or club and have a DJ, everyone wants your job. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're a bartender, a waiter, the dishwasher, or just, just a host. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants a DJ job, actually. Right, right, right. And if you can't really... You know, uh, share that emotions, share those feelings to the people. Mm -hmm. Then I don't think you're doing a good job with it, right? As well. Yeah. So at the end of the day, enjoy yourself. 
the time is now. Yeah, it's as simple as that. The like it's just, the time um, is like it's, it's short, it's too short. So it's too it's short. to and to do whatever you want, combine it with the music. If that's what you like, like let's say the podcast, it's part of the music too. You know, it's part of the music. You have the old technology. What does the DJs do too? You need to control everything. Like mm -hmm. people like it, people don't like it. How long did it take you to get your studio? Uh, We're still building it. It's like an ongoing process. On, it's a, on but, and off. On and uh, off. It's like it, because of, it's a it's a, the the vision in, in in self is like it's a, a multimedia project. Mm -hmm. It's not just the little recording studio. Right. Right. You know, because a lot of people, I, I, I don't look it back, but I was going to a studio where they, they were recording me with a two channels interface. And mm -hmm. I was like, I'm paying a hundred dollars wow. when I was making a hundred dollars for four hours. And I was getting paid seventy five dollars a day, mm -hmm. daily. So I was paying pretty much one day, two days. What were you recording in other people's studios? Yeah, in other people. So I'm well, stopping to rap well, what, because what I'm, were you recording? Hip hop. I'm a so MC too. OK. Oh, nice. Yeah, because, you know, it's part of the thing. Like, I like to rap. I go my thing, a DJ. Yeah, yeah. So because I remember, are you in the same space that you were when I visited you yeah. guys? Um, Cause yeah, because I remember you guys have your own recording booth in there. Like, is it, when I say when I am saying that Alex has his own studio, like I call what I have here my studio. This is a very beginner, basic, ground level studio, and it's very focused on just podcasting. Like, yeah. I, no one's gonna come. I would never say, "Hey, if you're a rapper, come to my place and I'll record your 16 bars." Like, this uh -huh. is not set up for that. Um, this is this is good for like bare bones podcast recording. Um, but when I visited you for, and we're, we're going to talk about that too, uh, the Groovy Wednesday shows you guys used to do back in the day. Thank you, man. You got it. I am a bartender, you know. Salud. So. <laughs> um, <laughs> Salud. Salud. See, um, it's not official. No tips then. <laughs> <laughs> Only tip me if anyone watches or listens to this interview. I Please, guys. <laughs> Please. Um, so, yeah, no, you yours is, is easily one of the more official studios that I've ever stepped foot in. And it was extremely impressive to just know that you basically built that from, from nothing. From, from nothing. Yeah. yeah. It looked like it took a while to, for, for you to be able to, yeah. to put up all that together. Um, but then I wanted to ask you, You lost a lot in a, like a hurricane or something like that, right? It flooded. It was a, yeah. We got the flood. Yeah, yeah how, it was hard. How bad did we that run? Hit? We wasn't. We wasn't that day. Lucky us, we were. We, we were there. We ran away out. with everything. You know, we we're just looking at memes on Facebook and just really? laughing about it for an hour before going home for some yeah. reason. Oh, we shit. stayed there, and in a minute it was like, yo, we got water, like, and we looking for where is the water is coming yeah. out, like, yo, let's move the, all the equipment. Boom. Boom. So you were able to save a lot of it. A lot, a, a lot. lot. But we lose a lot too. You did. Yeah, yeah. And my but had you not been there, you... oh, we can lose everything. Wow. Yeah. Was it a, was it one of the hurricanes that hit that did that? No, it was a it was a rain. It Just was a, a regular. Rain? It was a yeah. Wow. It was a storm. It was, yeah, it was, it was a storm. During, I remember it was during September though. So it was it's a like crazy really storm. Like, yeah, it was a crazy storm. You know, September gets like that. That that's super. But uh, it, it was it was crazy because. Of course, the whole city. The yeah. whole city. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, the yeah, basement yeah. get flood. All the basement got. Do, flooded. Does it still happen to you? Does it still flood? Uh, no, no. You, no, did no, you no, fix no. that no, problem? We, yeah, or? we, okay. we, we fixed those problems. <sighs> that was scary because my basement gets flooded too. I, I, don't, I don't know how. I don't know how high your your water went. Ours is. It'll like come no, in a little we bit. Went to almost the, the outlets. That's what we were worried. Almost to the outlets. That's, that's so good. Yeah, yeah, that's we were running, yeah, yeah. We were running out of time, basically, because yeah. uh, we it, it was either like get the equipment up or somewhere higher before yeah, yeah. we get electrocuted before they Jesus. actually hit the outlets. Yeah. Wow. So it was, and thank God it stopped right before that. Okay, you know, right on the ground. Nah, but <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. It was crazy. You guys, you must have been yeah, nervous. Yeah, but even in that time, like, yeah, like you know, we all like. For now, it's like we can lose something, but we can still beat them back. Okay. Like the, the positive things, we never drop that positive thing. I Even mean, from zero, we go back to zero. We push it up fast because and yeah, it's so. part. It's part of the learning process. Correct. It's part of the learning process and everything. So if you don't keep that thing high, it's impossible to like to grow. You seem like a very positive person. I mean, that grow, actually, when that happened, you know, even though we we're sad for like three hours it led to it led to you know bigger ideas yeah because after that 
thank to our friends too that they made donations for us to do oh, the nice, reparations. Yes, yes, you know, so shout out to all of them that did that. And a lot uh, of people came out to help us with the con reconstruction. Reconstruction too. because oh, wow. we have to cut the whole walls around all the all the studio, oh, taking out all the, the water. Uh, yeah, it was yeah, a yeah, water yeah. Damage. Literally, literally rebuild. Rebuild. So how long did the studio go out of commission for? Like how much how long did you could you not use it for? Imagine from September and then we were able to kind of fix all of that because at the same time it's it takes money and time and sure, effort yeah, yeah. to until like February. Okay. The following year. Wow. Which was like from twenty twenty one to twenty twenty two. And actually. had that not happened, you guys would have been consistently using the studio. Every, in different ways yeah, yeah different, different ways, ways. Yeah. that, that and actually opened up opened up the mind to be like you know what actually we should do these changes you know we should get rid of this so we make space for this yeah the, the and then a lot, a, lot of, a lot of ideas come over that's a that's a magic on the studio because you know I always tell them they like I always tell him like and now it's everybody who come in like okay oh I got an idea okay like if we don't judge the idea we just looking like we have question for implement to make it bigger yeah so it's not a bad idea but you need to have the answers for the problem that is coming next sure yeah so we, everything because we have that that experience let's say okay let's do this okay but we need to see the cons because the pros everybody want to have the success exactly. but okay, the cons course, is yeah, like yeah. nobody want to work on that the solution so we work in the solutions first and then we can fly and whatever that happens later on we have half of the way to fix it I, what I was going to say before when we started talking about our teachers, and it sounds like you are a, a huge believer of this. Um, I remember, I think it was Professor Anderson that once saw, I don't even know if it was me. It could have been me. It could have been someone else. I don't know. But someone was just getting very frustrated and something went wrong. And they lost probably, you know, whatever they worked on for the last hour or something. And um, the professor said that um, the way you should look at it to try to have a more positive spin on it is that you didn't just waste an hour you learn something in that hour that you you should probably never make that mistake again. Yeah, correct. And that it's, yeah. oh, whatever something does fuck up, the most positive way to look at it is to just say, well, that taught me a lesson that I'll probably never fail again. And that's helped me not, you know, cry or punch a wall or something, you know, whenever I've fucked up. And it seems like you are even better at having that mentality. I said before, you sound like a very positive person. I think you would agree with that. I, that yeah, he's pressed he's pressed the energy pretty well. You know, when things go back, he's always smiling. Hmm. Right? It's, it's, and, it's, it's, uh, it's something that is good because it's, it's, it shows you that what are you going to do about the problem? If you can't fix the problem, why worry about it? Why if you, you can't fix it, it yeah. why are you going to well, worry about it too? It, that's it. It's fixable. I, I work in a construction field. So my, 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 my biggest thing is like troubleshooting, fixing. Right. So right. I, I come, I come to with the solution in, in, in record time, the value increase. Sure. Did you, do you feel like you are... Uh, Learn to be more positive from him, or were, do you do you think you were like that too, or are like that? More between, well, I was always positive, but like build that confidence and you know spread it out to people. I think I learned that from Alex, you know, mm -hmm. because uh, as you said, let's say even in the business itself, like um, in college, they're just gonna teach you the technicality, right, of how to use the things, mm -hmm. but no one's gonna show you the what's what are the next steps, how are you gonna deal with people, how are you gonna do this and that, and I learned that a lot from Alex, you know, when. We will go to these type of parties, and I'll feel kind of nervous. He's like, "No, that's fine." Most you of the time, this, blah, blah 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 blah, and then that started building confidence. And then when people would come to me for help, I was able to help them out because I knew it. I knew about. It. I knew the feeling about it, and I didn't want the people to feel like embarrassed or asking me or anything mm -hmm. like that. So mm -hmm. I was just always open, open to yeah. Shit, I know when we had class together, I would always be like, "Cisco, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> I don't understand." <laughs> Yeah. Tell me, I, he was always way better than me. I was always like barely getting by. <laughs> Not gonna um, lie to you, I, all, I, me too. I, I also like self-taught before college. Yeah, as well, I you have, had a lot of knowledge going in. I felt. Uh, Plus, I think you were like at least a semester or two ahead of me. So, like, you, I want to say, yeah, whatever I classes I was taking, like you had already done or whatever. You know what um, is uh, the big problem with that self-teaching? Is like uh, self-made things is when uh, when you go and meet another people who want to learn, and you know that that happened to me before. Yeah. yeah. Been to me yeah, too, it's like, crazy because he, people take like you are, your 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 ego is too big. Like you feel they, they that's what they think that you think 
that you are better than them. And and it's not that thing. It's I do not, think you yeah. think you're better than me. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> no, but you know, but they. But think I think like, you're better than but me. They, they, so. That's what. They, they, but they they put you in a in a situation like you are an asshole. You know, oh, uh, I got so like, you know. Yeah. I don't think you're an asshole. I do yeah. think you're better than me, but I don't think you're an asshole. Thank I you, think you're you. an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weird. three more of this, and yeah, yeah it can yeah, be totally. We'll get, it, we'll get to the asshole part soon. <laughs> no, but um. It, you know, as Alex said, like sometimes, uh, let's say, oh, we got to do this project or whatever. And since I already had like um, experience of it a little bit, nothing crazy, uh, even though even in high school, too, I took like percussion class. I was into the percussion. Sample, oh, yeah. The concert band. Oh, so nice. I knew how about music. So, yeah, it was for me, it was like, oh, just creativity, like and take advantage of learning the software or whatever we had to do, whatever we had to play on. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was still like a journey. But then at the same time, I would see people coming to me. Oh, that's what's up. And I would feel bad because I would take my time if they want to ask me. I would take my time because when I was learning, I didn't ask. I didn't have anybody to ask him about it. Mm. Not even Alex. Even when I met Alex, Alex was still doing his own thing. I was still in college. So I really self-taught myself a lot of things and from what I learned in college. But if I was able to make it easier for others... Hell yeah, I would turn around and and do it, you know. But I would feel bad with people thinking that that oh, because I know how to use this, I I was meant for grainers or some shit. <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, it's, nah, it's dude. but there were people like that. In I, I could I'm not, I'm not gonna name names, but I, we probably had a couple of classmates that did give that type of oh, like that guy called <laughs> yeah, 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 a lot of people they play with that thing. So yeah, yeah like yeah. they they. They feel better than than every everybody else. Right. But I nah, remember, that, that yeah, sense. I even remember like they used to have like this band. I mean, not a band, but like this club for all the musicians. All the musicians every and every Wednesday they would meet up, and I would feel like some of the people were like that, like let's say the teachers or the one running the thing. Uh -huh. you know? They were like, yeah, teach you how to do this and that. But when it was time to like let's make the band and play for the college or something, they would just shut down the doors. Uh, and it was between them. I, I noticed that. It, that's why I never joined that club because I went like there twice, and and I saw that like, like this. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? Let, let me know because I don't even want to deal with it. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm here to learn. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to you know. It's hard to 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 I'm hit that. The yeah, totally. It's, yeah, it. it's it's hard to to hit that reality, right? Totally. When uh, like it like uh, uh, have like you're something. not you're not gonna be there measuring dicks with other people. And it's like uh, we get it. You play too, but are you helping us? Are you doing this? And when you don't see them, when you're just there, they just created a club. I realized that they just created a club just for them to have time to practice. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and that sucks, you know. Mm -hmm. That really sucks, you know. And because some people. Let's say I'm what was the club? Do you remember? What was it for? The name of the club? No, what was it for specifically? Just a like a. For it was a just like all, all for all the musicians that wanted to learn like an instrument. Okay. So they will set up like a bass, a drummer. Got so it. they will have the drummer teaching other people. They will have the bass. Can part. you still play drums? Um, I'm out of practice. I never played the drums just because of my legs. My leg, I can't really. Really. I can't really follow the rhythm with my leg. Wow. I can do my hands. However, I lost practice a little bit. So I can just do all the percussive stuff. Okay. But if I go back to it, I'm pretty sure I can. I, that's something that I want to implement on DJing too. That live, I, live music. Like live music or more hybrid. Well, yeah, we always talk about that. Did you? Do you play? Did you ever play an instrument? I uh, can learn easily. You can learn. Yeah. I well, can, have you? Yeah, yeah. No, I got my drum. I always play. You drum, drums. Yeah, I got oh, so you drum do, in the oh, studio. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I don't remember. buy the stuff that I don't like to learn. I don't remember the drums. I guess. I yeah, the, but the, uh, the I always say that. Like, if I if I want to learn something, I just buy the stuff and just practice teach again. Yeah, teach yeah. But anything. but the time is, is so so little that that we it take me out from what I what I can do for hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It take me out, and I prefer to call my friends. Like, oh, yo, yo, the bass player, you come over. Of you course, know, I'm yeah, still yeah. collaborate with people, but like. Is is not something that we don't have inside. And you said before you you before at the beginning of the episode you talked about before you were f focused on less like you were focused on more things so you couldn't focus on one thing in general. So now I guess you take out those instruments you focus on what you have to. Yeah. How did you guys meet? For his mother. You want you want me to talk about? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was um I used to be a waiter 
and this spot in Northern Boulevard also it was a Chilean restaurant actually nice. and I worked there because uh, we knew the owner and I was living there like two blocks away from it and they kind of needed help on the weekend so I was there working mm-hmm. all, the whole weekend and um, talking about like maybe 13 hour shift Jackson Heights? no right there by Corona Corona, sure, Corona okay. yeah and um, all of a sudden, like, uh, my, even my mom was working there, too. So we were like, oh, they were, yeah, it was, it was dope because I was, I was with my mom and spending my time with my mom, too. And uh, and then she told me, hey, listen, that guy that's getting in, he's into music. He has a studio. Talk to him. And when he came to ask for, I don't remember, it was like a sandwich or coffee. We started talking. I started yeah. telling him, hey, I'm going to college or whatever. And, you know, him with his great attitude and yeah, positiveness yeah. and always smiling for some reason <laughs> you never knew he was something <laughs> yeah. you never know if he was into something but he was like <laughs> yeah yeah of course pull up to my studio wow and one of those days i went to the studio i found a great like this you know the same experience as someone would come for the first time wow this shit is huge this is my dream yeah yeah, like, yeah and you know i see a dream turn to reality in someone else mm-hmm. on a, on so you started like that and uh, little by little, he was, he was always inviting me and just to learn, you know, just to learn to see how he was recording with people, how he was talking to people, how he was doing the business with them. So I was always there. And at the same time, I always had like a little extra on me, you know. Hey, Cisco, you want you want a beer? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you want this? But, and all of a sudden we're blasting music yeah. and yeah. we're talking the same thing we're doing right now. We're talking about music, experiences and all that. So I started little by little and then... When it got to a point that um, I left college, we started working more together. Yeah, yeah. He because that, that, that was a, that was the main point. That was the main point when uh, when he told me, "Oh, when the college and all that." Okay, when you finish college, come to the studio. Then let's get and to work. And then let's don't worry work. about me. Don't worry about the the time or whatever. Come to the studio. Nice. But finish the college first. Yeah. Because I was running with that yeah. already. I was mm-hmm. having a client every single day, recording, 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 yeah, recording. Yeah, he was. So, during that time, he was running. So yeah. a lot of people, they get confused with that. Like, oh, you're recording. Oh, the the artists, they, you know, hip-hop, they smoke, mm-hmm. guy, you know, they drink and all that. A lot of people got problems with that. I don't have a problem. That's my business. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because... It's like, a, you the, don't care if they were, like, drinking in the actually, studio. Actually, like, it's a common ground. You have to build ground. the vibe. Yeah. It's yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. ground. They feel more comfortable. It's a neutral ground. You yeah, can, yeah, uh, yeah. like, the... the, the Rule number one, at least, nobody can smoke cigarettes, you know, because that stinks first. And and if they want to smoke something else, weed or whatever, they have a space outside, mm-hmm. you know. So because sometimes I, I we bring young people, like little kids, you know, friends with family. So oh, I don't wow. want I don't want to yeah. I don't want to give it like what the oldest guys do. The, the little kids don't need to yeah, yeah, that, yeah, impre- yeah. that impression that they just go there to hang out and yeah, no it's just, yeah. a, it's just a workplace you Got know? It. so there are rules that even though that it will be dope to have them and, I, and you, you see them a lot of rappers when they go to this crazy studio they shot videos like them smoking of course yeah, yeah they're smoking there five minutes but they don't show you the whole two hours that they were there <laughs> where they were like, hey, yeah, stop they, that. They, they, they only show, you they like, only yeah, show the, fun doing the, the fun time. Reality. That's why the, the people buy time in the studio. Yeah. That, that's why. But it's time like for the good artists, the, the big the biggest one, they have the budget that they need to spend yeah, because true. it's part of the marketing. You know, but the, the independent artists, where's the budget, bro? Where's the budget? There's yeah. no, no big budget. So... So I I know. Um, so that's how I met him. <laughs> that's how I met him. So not Tinder, not Tinder, <laughs> not, no. not Grinder. All right, all right. I wasn't <laughs> on the wrong side of Tinder. Right? Yeah. <laughs> oh look, my cat just came out of the closet. All right, kitty. <laughs> what's his, what's his name? That so she's a girl. Her name's Addie, or short for Adriana. Oh, hey, Addie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> let's see if she wants to get out. But for now, she looks like oh. she's like no, <laughs> not now. She might just be chilling. Um, did global goal music exist before uh, Cisco? Yeah. So that was your thing. Yeah. What is global goal music? It started like like a record label. Okay. And now it turned into we working to do the uh, multimedia company. Okay. Because and then I can mix all all myself mm-hmm. like the studio or, or the whole company is it's not about myself. But it's about what what expecting from to develop to outside of the world. 
So that means if, when I say that, like I like to record music, I, I learn how to record music. Mm -hmm. I know how to do the artist part because I'm an MC, mm -hmm. right? We, we implemented the last three years, we implemented the uh, production. So we do like, we can do parties, we can do like a, a performing things in different venues. Production, you mean like live? Production? Live, okay. live productions. And, and what kind of things go into like live production? You mean like, like we can the do sound setup? Uh, yeah, sound setup, lighting, lighting as well, lighting as well. Yeah, yeah. Wow. okay. And, and now we're working in uh, and the the one was the the like the the start of the the, the whole thing is mm -hmm. we're doing uh, we are gonna implement a, a radio 24 7 and also it's gonna be like a, a little room for to do live streaming and podcasts. Depends on the time who want to work yeah. in that room. What is this 24 7 thing? Explain like a that. radio, online radio for yeah. now, for now, because always the dream is not get stuck. But like, we can have like, you, you, you being in uh, Groovy, Groovy Wednesday, right? Wednesday, yeah. So we take all that, that's a material that's going to be running. Oh, God. 24 7 so people can see you oh. online okay people can hear you on the radio so ultimately you want to build up so much content that you can continue it playing it can, like, and then you know oh, yeah. just, just, just need to, we have a, a strategy to mm -hmm. to bring a lot of material for free correct actually so at, a lot at of people. the moment as we say you know you, you just met like now we call the studio A you just met that room and now since we had an extra room that we've been working now. You have a uh, second studio now? Well, almost. Second room. Almost yeah. because we had a second room that we are we in the are same location. Yeah, yeah, same right location. Right the problem is you the go down the stairs and you make it left. That's the location. location. And and, 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 uh, and we are gonna implement in a studio tree, but like a uh, same thing like you have wow. a podcast. Yeah. Like a one on one. Uh huh. Same thing. But the problem is if, if we learn from that is like we have uh, an issue to get that room. For oh, plenty of years, or so now that we have it, I just take it. Got it. We started to demo, boom, let's run it. But we run it literally. We run it like in two weeks. We started yeah. to run it. I can show you pictures later about yeah. so, the progress. And and the main idea is like because when we used to do it live streaming, like we was we was needed that time for the artists to recording to mm -hmm. rehearse, rehearsals and all that you know because this is a, it's a, it's a business so we are into the business so mm -hmm. whatever part of the business is so it's tv with radio artists time to recording time to mix master whatever we need to be on point with that right right so that's why we're building the the, the next uh, studio but the next studio is gonna look good like you know for dj we can have it for one hour two hours playing they show bring one guy one guest you know and keep it running a lot of there, there is a lot of talent out they just need the the opportunity yeah you know? and i believe in opportunities so because so i remember let's talk about the 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 groovy wednesday show do you guys still do Ooh. that <laughs> do you guys do that at all anymore or is we that... we did that during 2022 back then uh that was <laughs> i don't want to say my program but since i was the host we um our other friend uh, eduardo d sur shout out to him shout He's out to here. sur shout out to sur um we changed the name and that program in particular lasted a long time you That's changed it. the name to what? Sounds of the Under. Okay, so I was going to ask because I saw Sounds of the Underground on your uh, Instagram as well, and it seemed very similar. So I was wondering if it was like the new evolution of the show or something. It was kind of like yeah, a new evolution was. because it was better started, equipment, better options. It looked, it looked very cool, yeah. Imagine that table. We had to, yeah, Alex cut it. You know, we made it by ourselves. Because, really? Yeah. Because the table um, for, for um, uh, I'm going to. But it's funny. We, we did, nice story about that. That table is funny because. We live in a Corona, you know, the, the next, the, the closer of uh, Home Depot is like, what, 30 minutes or 45 minutes walking? Walking, yeah. We walk oh, no. with, the, with the blade work. <laughs> we, bro, we cross, bro, we, we was thinking like, oh, yo, bro, if we call the, the, the Uber, they are not going to get the this play with Damn. so let's walk we walk we cross the whole flushing <laughs> metal oh my park God. like to get <laughs> with a table like yeah with, with a piece of wood piece of and wood. it was windy it was windy everybody looking at us like what the fuck? what's wrong with this guy like 
No, because in May you gotta ask for like a sort of a, a type of U-Haul, and that U-Haul is gonna what yeah. charge you a hundred bucks yeah. just to get you across the bridge. Yeah, like fuck it, just just walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah just we walk. We almost yeah. like that. We almost like that was the solution. <laughs> like, oh man, my lazy ass would have been like, I'll pay for the Uber. Fuck this. Hell no, no we, we got it. But the problem is, that you need to be very specific with the. So the Uber it, it costs more than the the piece of wood. Jeez, yeah. more than the play wood. And for people that that don't know, oh, well, they don't, they won't know until. Uh, uh, I'll have like links out for for your guys' um, social medias and whatnot. But the, I did see that table. It's just like a it's like a circular table that kind of semi circular. Yeah, it yeah. like curves around the DJ, and then you guys have a uh, camera from above to clearly showcase that dope table. We it did looks, back then. Yeah. Lucky us, we, we were able to put five five cameras. Five, five, cameras. five cameras. Just for, so. for that program was four. Mm -hmm. And then for the other programs, because that one was only running on Wednesday, but we also had a podcast on Tuesdays and Thursday. So Jesus. Tuesday, my friend Alex was the host, where I was the director okay. in the back. And since he was doing rap and interviews, also doing Zoom calls. Zoom calls. Yeah, we yeah. had Life. the five cameras spread out. And also we had the camera, the extra camera from the other guy. So imagine we were working with, uh, as, as we said, like multimedia like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that gave us a whole perspective where artists were not just coming and, oh, doing it live on TikTok. And right. that's it with one point of view. Right. We were not just, our way, I mean, in my perspective, in my program, we were not just doing uh, live streaming. Ah, yeah, I just played for two hours. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was doing, we were doing shows. Yeah. We yeah. wanted to make sure that it looked like a show. It looked and, like a... And that, that, was the, that was the closer thing that I was like to see. Yeah, because you know you can you can make a show TV show, one stream. Right. So that means the quality is higher than it is. than yeah. than do like streaming. You guys have camera cuts. You guys. Yeah, are yeah, yeah. yeah. We mess and all that and yeah. all that we like, like uh, thanks to that little uh, switch machine. Bottle rolls, bottle rolls for se oh. six months. Bottle rolls for six months <laughs> in water, <laughs> something like that. You know the little sacrifice that you do to mm -hmm. get the material to, just to make it run that, yeah. that and make. Like uh, materialize the, the, the so the that jump that jump from groovy Wednesday like the same the same as you're doing right now, where as you're in the club you had to do all that. We look forward to it and we were like we don't want to do that if we're running the whole show. So you know we started saving up and until we got like the switch mm -hmm. that would you know allow us to have everything recorded. And by the end of the day, it was already set. We were done with the show and the show is here without us actually doing any cuts, dealing with the audio, because in mind we, we wanted to run. And we, we still have problems with that. And we still have problems with it, but at the same time, it, it, it was a huge jump because every time I had a, a guest, let's say, uh, they were amazed by it. They were amazed by ideas. Most of them already, I don't want to say copy the idea, but <laughs> they, <laughs> kind, they, they kind of like got into it. They, they were like, you know what, I'm doing this too. And I, I could see that why, but I it's, see it's, that it's nice. It's, it's, it's nice too because you see that they they replicate what you what they see. Mm -hmm. So that means they they replicate the positive yeah. things, the good things. Yeah, you yeah. know, so. if if we are gonna be a bad influencer, fuck it. No, I don't want to be that guy. You know, like I prefer to say, oh, oh we do something, mm -hmm. and they do that things. I like it because they open more doors. Like if we open that the, the gap for for artists for DJs, you know. Yeah. You being we could have done season. it for ourselves. We could have done it for ourselves yeah. and do whatever we wanted to do for ourselves. But no, we decided to invite people. We decided to show faces to the public. Yeah, this is the goal, the global. That's the goal. The global, the global goal. goal. The global, yeah. goal. Yeah. The global goal. That has to be as simple oh, as you're that, here guys. Too, so. buddy? I got both of you cats in here. Oh, I didn't look at that. My my. All right, they, they, they look young. They young. look young, right? They are pretty young. Man. <laughs> this one is like two years old. The other one's I think three. All right, three. Guys, I'll let you out. I got two unwanted guests in the studio. Let's go. Three, two, one. They're jumping. Go to mama. Follow them. <laughs> there you go. Cheers, guys. Again, yeah. thanks, Will, for the invite. It's a great, ch great chat so guys, far. I invited you guys, but I kicked out my cats. How do you like that? <laughs> what about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I've seen that um, that you guys, uh, the Global Goal Music is um, also kind of putting together events, no? Yeah. Um, what was uh, up with the music showcase that you guys did? The Under? Was it called The Under? The Under. The yeah. Under, correct. What was that about? What was that like? How was that process? Uh, the Under started as, a, you know, when we were going out looking for spots, technically, mm -hmm. we were thinking about, you know, calling 
calling the instead of just uh, going to a spot and call it the name of the spot that we were at we we're thinking about bringing an idea and like sort of some type of name or the trailer of the events that we were throwing and the first time we started doing that it was literally in the basement of uh, of the sport in a, a sport bar in Astoria mm -hmm. so when we came up with the under the idea was like yeah of course it's underground kind of thing yeah, like it but at matching. the same time it was just a name for us to put whatever we were doing because we were not just doing underground music right it was more just like bringing rap showcase and the under itself came as for the local artists okay to be honest that we were inviting and all that so between rap between djs salsa we got to a point that we were doing salsa in the under yeah we was doing parties so salsa. you had more you guys had multiple showcases it was correct. Oh, okay yeah, correct correct and, and uh, that that was just the one that we were throwing of course we were in we we're getting invited to do other showcases or or places too i was able to play as a dj too in the bronx you know uh, opening for the artists and playing the artist music and all that so when when we're I don't want to say working for other people, but when we were showcasing for other people as well, we were more global music. But when we were doing our own thing, we switched it to the under when it comes to like the events only. And um, I thought that, oh, I thought global gold music, I thought it was like the under presented by global gold music or something. Yeah, like it, that. Is, yeah it, it is, it is, it is, but, it is. but uh, the, the idea it it is wasn't like but a global music. That has become to be like uh, with all the people that we knew, like if they. We mo they get motivated to do their yeah. own production, right, 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 so right, they right, knew, right, right. like, oh, yo, can you help us? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, but the DJ need to, you know, right, he, need, right. he need to get paid, you, you know, pay. yeah, yeah. because uh, they, they do, what happened? The people think they every, everything is is for free. No, we we do it for because it's part of the work. Sure, you know, so whatever. Like I told him, if we work on this. Definitely, we are gonna have a result later, and the result later is gonna have a prize. You know, probably like everything. You started for for love, but if you if you are constantly doing it, it's starting to be a job. If you don't like your job, like why you doing it? So it was like for at the beginning, it was for free and our event. You you mean like you weren't charging entrance to your event? Or Correct. You were, no, of course, we're doing. Yeah. I mean, yeah, entrance, yeah, 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 like, yeah, say... yeah. We we charge everything. Like, so what um, was free? What, what were you doing? No, for well, free? like for us, for us, because we, you, we was putting ourselves like we exposure ourselves, and sometimes you don't have that many people. Right. So. Like my, 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 for us it was free yeah. because of the aspects also of the technology too we were bringing yeah. our own lighting they didn't have any lighting they at did, all. it was like, not the empty the place screen. we brought everything so bass uh, speakers lighting we was so designing I, the lighting we was putting on a, on a screen like five screens in that case we were running logos we were really and investing on getting things so at the same time it was still free for us because even though we were charging at the door we were not charging crazy mm -hmm. yeah because of course we were the ones bringing it so yeah, yeah. that that production thing and all plus the spots i think that's why the under started coming you know where the under is just a name but it's actually representing us and the local scene mm -hmm. in any aspect yeah. i guess the uh, the people that were performing uh, were these people that you found? Were these people that came to you? How did they that came for? Yeah, they, they came. came to, they yeah. approached. At the you. beginning, oh, we, at the beginning, no. we call it all of the all the older guys that have been recording, have been working with. It's, but yeah, especially yeah. the rappers that will go and record with Alex too. Especially them, we give them the opportunity we to, give to, it the, to the first, their music to do a live chance, performance yeah. and stuff like Later that. Later on, it was like you know the the, the one of the most important things is like the network that you you work. Of course, with. like if, oh, yeah. if you don't yeah, work yeah. in your network. Like what you do, uh, I I I can understand somebody like who can say like, oh, I have connection. What kind of connection do you have? <laughs> because that there's the most important thing. Like mm -hmm. we don't flex money, we flex results. You know, you got to a point that we were trying, we wanted to try something new, and Alex got the idea of like, you know what? Let's put we're we're throwing a showcase the under mm -hmm. any artist that wants to you know play or sing or whatever, just pay us this amount and we put you on for fifteen minutes. Ah. Oh. Nice. I don't know it. You know, I don't know it. Yeah, we, like we, we had it like one. How many? How many artists? I want to say in one fifteen. Night? Easy. Fifteen to twenty artists in one night. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. great turnout. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. We, we, what's good? And a lot of people like they just come and we, we we came up with a good deals. Like if you bring more than five people, you're starting to make money right mm -hmm. away. Like yeah. five, you bring in ten, you got 
cotton though and the tickets and the entrance what you're saying if you bring five to ten um of five. artists or no, five, guests or guests, or guests oh. each artist, you so, know. so then if so you have 15 different guests they're we're probably, probably trying to get their friends to try right? we have a like yeah we go nice nice high 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 with the spectator but yeah but we realize too that the people a lot of people don't work they they don't work and they network mm. like because we 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 even do our networking party yeah. like oh, a networking yeah? parties we we have friends like you, like, oh, you got your podcast, you're part of our network. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. we do a networking parties, like we got photographers, videos, uh, directors. Those, those, you know. uh, those actually, they, they work, dude. Like I've actually, since I've started reaching out to guests to be on the podcast, I've actually attended two different networking events um, that uh, were held by this uh this networking company called Tavern Community. Uh, shout out to Tavern. I went to one for podcasters and one for uh, for uh, people in the comedy industry because I also, I don't know if you know, but I also yeah. just started doing comedy. Um, and I got five, six guests out of that. And every time that I get a guest out of that, I, you make a new connection with somebody, you have new outlets, you have new avenues to explore. Totally. So I actually think that you throw in just not even a showcase, but a networking party. It's it's genius. Like yeah, it's exactly. we were doing that network networking party, and everybody come with their own things. Yeah, we got the like we put in the like mm. three artists, but it was the most talented artists. Like mm, right. even if they cannot be our friends, mm -hmm. but we already like, we 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 like. We we put in out who we think you have more talent. Sure. Because it's a network. Like if you are gonna explode this if you make ten connection in twenty companies, because we even call it to the another record label. So oh, yes. yeah, we yeah. we don't have any problem with that. Cool, yeah. No, it's it's perfect. It's yeah, yeah. perfect because is the, the city is just too big like to fight it for claim the too. city's too big to fight i like that yeah like yeah. it's, it's <laughs> like the, the best thing that you need to do is like is if you don't have a time yo mm -hmm. go there go there yeah because actually, even actually. even with the type of music like a lot of people they record you know what we do like if what i do i record it in my way i don't i don't i don't have for time stuff i cannot go to work with different software or type of music yeah right i I go for what is more comfortable for me. Mm -hmm. But if I know that somebody wants to record it like a word, like say a special effects or, or anything, I know who can make it. Who so I give that, I give yeah, yeah. my connection to do that. Like right. like yesterday it was a it was a, a Peruvian uh, rapper, he say he was he was putting in the his story. Oh, I feel so good with my music and all that. Like, oh, that's great. How he's feeling? You know, he came to me, like you know, is somebody like uh, who who can per, like who can give me the chance to perform it for free? I can perform it and make a uh, salsa and reggaeton. Yeah, I know plenty salsa bands. Yo, if they give it, I give it the connection. But you need to talk with them, and then you need to go where they playing. Because you want to perform. Sure, yeah. So it's like, again, give it the connection, but it's totally. your, your You put on people, and then at the same time, you got to put on the work if you really want to be part of them, let's mm -hmm. say. And uh, basically that. Basically... Because it's funny, because at the same time, we are in those events. We are there. Yeah. Like, it definitely, if you say you invited me, we go. Uh -huh. We never go to places that we are not invited. Super. And usually <laughs> that that's one and two at the same time because there's so much going on. Like there's no for for us at least there's no reason to always go like oh let's see this DJ again. This DJ. we right. already party yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. We already know if we go to the spot because I I want a goal. I want something to come out of that. Mm -hmm. It's here the network. It's here knowing someone. It's either stealing the controller of the DJ. Whatever. Whatever. If you can get that for free, that's what's up. <laughs> no, <whatever. laughs> yeah, always. No, it's, it's, it's always it's a good price. It's, it's always a good project. It's expensive price. It's expensive price. <laughs> it's expensive price. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah so free is expensive. Paying. But at the same time, that's uh, the the main thing on global music. The goal of like spreading the music, spreading the art, and you know we we know that. We have the technology nowadays, and what we were talking about before, that everyone almost can do the same with so little. So then we will have to, you know, use the same resources, the same network, and create something new, something better, something that's going to, not not in a way to put us above them all, but in a way that it will change the game. Mm -hmm. change well, the game we, yeah, the and way. we grow. That's what the, the, we the grow, main point totally. is grow. Now, our main group, that's our goal. 
grow, grow, grow. Of course. If we can have uh, in internships, if we can help them, it's perfect for us. But if we don't need the internships, what we're going to make the uh, waste their time with us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we don't want uh, internships to pick up garbage bags. We right. want to help them to run the stuff. Not just get your you coffee. Know, yeah, you to, no, no, no. We don't like that. We are, no, we are not like that. We, we like to be in action. I don't even we have like, time for my own coffee. So yeah, 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 we, yeah, we, yeah. We, don't, we like the action. I like that. Do you think you were the like the original intern, Cisco? <laughs> I want to say on the low, on the side, yeah. <laughs> Did I want it that life? No, but you know, it, sh it shows you. It shows you how, like, uh, uh, as we were talking about before, like you could see some other people probably speeding up in some process, but then when you put them on the actual work or what it actually means, uh, people barely know it. Yeah. And for me to go through that, uh, before them or beforehand, it, it taught me a lot, you know, it taught me of, you start realizing how things are moving around you, how things are, what people are looking for. And definitely, I don't get full that easy, you know, as, as before, you know, because before I was always sold by something, right. either by the studio the first time I came, or I'm sold by yeah, it, yeah, so yeah, I would yeah. trust it. No, you get to a point that, uh, you're not that naive word. anymore. You're 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 no. getting older. No, right? and that, that is the trust. Like you, like trust, when man. we when we met, I always tell him like, yo, you need to, even if the pay, the people don't pay you good, you need to trust because and and give it a chance to people because you got your chance. You, you got pay, your chance, you and now forward. and now you run the place. For for my buddies that are listening, and or for anybody that's listening out there, I I, I realize I might have been a little vague when I was talking about uh, being a part of Groovy Wednesdays and then yeah, going that's into not disrespectful. Uh, <laughs> like, hey, we don't, sorry we to piss you off. Yeah. Right, you you so, um, Come on, right. so let's uh, let's let, let's describe what it was. I remember, um, God, I don't remember. I, well, actually, there's a funny story about that day that I would love to tell. But um, but that was the beginning, like in the first season of all Groovy, 2021. The first Wednesday, and we was fighting even with the copyrights oh yeah oh, because remember, we're going remember live through we Instagram. recorded everything yeah, we, yeah, we were yeah, fighting yeah, with yeah. that, that later sense. on we moved to another ways like uh, with a uh, different software with, uh, I mean uh, different uh, mixed cloud so we yeah. can, we never stop at that so yeah. like we grow because that's also that that came off that was right after or right I guess towards the end of the pandemic when everyone every DJ was just doing their their Instagram sessions their uh -huh. their Twitch sessions their and me too I was I was on Instagram live going on for like an hour or two you know and I would get kicked off and I'd have to come back on because of copyright shit or whatever and um, Groovy Wednesdays I felt was like a more um, elevated version of that it was it was a DJ you guys would have a, DJ, a different DJ every week come in um, doing a set like you guys gave me zero parameters you're like just come in do whatever music you want and I played for at least an hour. And then at some point, like you came in with a microphone and we had like a little, I don't know, five, ten minute little interview. Ten, yeah. Um, and then we we went back to doing it. And I, I believe we ended it off with a back to back session. So right. Gro Groovy Wednesdays was essentially it was almost like a podcast for DJs where instead of coming in for an interview, you were coming in for a set. Correct. Um and we focus on the Latino community and our community. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Were most yeah, of your on guests Saturday, on Saturday? Saturday? On Saturdays, we were doing Latin mixes. Oh, so okay. It's Latin, yeah, it's Latin and Saturdays actually. Like, like Latin house or like salsa reggaeton? Like, yeah, format. it was that, the, like, format, that format. Yeah. yeah, that format. And then, and it, that those those was the only two shows that we run it. The second way that we run it, we ran with three shows. It was a, a rock, a Latin rock. Wow. Now Tuesday it was the hip hop. Correct. Lighting hip hop. It was called La Plataforma. La Plataforma it, NYC. For those that don't know, the platform. The platform. The platform. Yeah. The Wednesday, it was the. Sounds uh, of the Under. Sounds of the Under, DJ. And the Thursday was the Lighting Rock. The, and a guest for, for all these shows? Uh, guest. Not just course, one. Not just one. My uh, the sound sounds of the under only got once because uh, he was the DJ. It was, it was the just, guest. just the DJ actually doing? He the was set. the focus of the I show. I wanted to 100%. back to backs, but I was saving that for another season if we we're able. If we were able to go back to that and season, so you're doing like a set amount of shows and then taking it a is break. A, it is a it is a it, it we is. run it as a media like in TV because we don't want to cut it like oh we want to do it forever. We want to do this. 
the the first seasons and we get we see where is the problem we fix it and we yeah. go better how many better. Is, is it episodes or Correct. like how yeah. many episodes was, was i want to say around 30 each wow that's a uh, good we were, went through we seven months seven months we we were we we're tired it Every, was yeah. we got tired you got and burnt out you need got time. tired my we got color. like mad the, the team it was like yo we we we, we didn't want to see each other <laughs> you got, you got, yeah, because it was like really? this. Yeah, it was like yo, you always come late, and no, uh, and oh, you're the one preparing course. this. You're not doing Wait, this. between you guys because it, uh, we're we're not just the two of us. We're working with other four people. So let's say on Tuesdays, uh, it wasn't just Alex hosting. It was also his boy back then too. Yeah. Uh, been the host while I was Cruz, in the director. Shout out to Cruz. Yeah. Shout out to Cruz Chaos over there. He's also and now he was a, DJ another Mama. producer too. Like uh, I met him in a, in a in a party. Yeah, Peter. A, a Peter. Shout out to Peter. And uh, he's Peruvian. The other one is Salvadorian. So they are the two ones that I really they they really like that. You know, I I, I work with people who like what they do. Are these guys all like they, they a part of global go music yeah. as well? Like would you in say those times, yes. In those they times still, part, they yeah. They still give they they, they come still up with something. They yeah. still come, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they always show up for the scene. They're they're OGs in their own ways, you know. Back then they know each other for why well, at least close you know yeah. for like twenty years. Twenty years easy. Yeah. So right now we're you guys are between seasons? Or I wanna mm. say fifty-fifty because um, what the idea that we're trying to bring on the on the following studio, um, we we're still debate. We don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna spoil it. Okay. But at the yeah, same time, we don't it wanna exclusive. Do it. Give it the exclusive. Ah, exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your boss is saying, "Give me the exclusive." Yeah, so but yeah, yeah, tell, tell I him, give tell it him, to tell you him, off tell the him, camera. Tell him, tell him, nobody. In the- well, no, but it, 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 it's, ma- it's mainly that, you know, or how things are going to be run through, you know, the same way we did, like, instead of podcast, uh, we just want to transfer more of, like, TV shows, mm-hmm. you yeah. know, because at the, same, at, the day, at the end of the day, you know, in the DJ aspect, let's say, first of all, it was just DJs, an interview, and DJs. Then mm-hmm. the second season, Sounds of the Under, let's say, I was having more conversations with them. I was literally putting... Uh, less less time on them a little bit, but so they can show more more equipment, more cameras. So now the the more third speed, season yeah. or whatever we come up with, more visuals, it has to be yeah. has to be a different aspect. It can you know, it cannot just be the same as interviewing someone. So you know we I'm si- we're still planning of how things can run through that looks way different compared to just podcast interviewing. Oh, sorry. And just I'm gonna say if you're gonna if you're gonna do a podcast interview, you need to stop hitting the mic. Yes, <laughs> I really like did a different Lesson filter. Lesson number though. one. <laughs> I might need a, I might need a filter like that, just a pop filter. Like you even said, yeah. I like this one. It'll keep me away. And then you just start boxing. <laughs> do that. You know what? I need my hands in the back actually. So, but um, but the idea goes like that. It goes it goes beyond what it looks like. So would you say you guys have two seasons? under like done with and you guys are approaching your third season the third now? Yeah. season but with now different it's, aspects yeah. of it different because... aspect different time framing different like focus we can even call the same djs yeah. and upgrade the situation yeah, yeah, yeah. and better visual because uh, that's that's what is demand you know you could have the, the same dj on from like season one or two but present some, them, some but we, can, we, we can also yeah, it's with what, what is the project is coming because we we want to Give it the best, how we can say the best performance of the DJ at the end of the day is they are artists too. So, so imagine it just ways yeah. so how to how to think to do that. How, how, which activities can I create for them mm. that is out of just like playing and talking to me, you know? Mm-hmm. So, it, it, it's something like that. We don't and always worry. supporting it. Like they always say, he, he was telling me because uh, the, the, you, he was playing the uh, Danny De Leon. He was playing some some song that he pulled up uh-huh. and shout out to Danny. Shout out to Danny, and he's he was like, "Oh, then you got music that is not out yet, oh. but we always support." Right. That's right, right, we right. like if we don't think it in that way. I don't see how we can Grow, be successful. Yeah. But that's smart though, because if you put the artist first and their needs and their their wants first, then that's as. As not just a recording studio or a multimedia studio now, if you do not put your clients or your guest service or needs first, then it's going to limit the amount of people that are going to want to work with you in the future. 
and and also like you see a lot of people want to be influencers mm. and and a lot of people they want to influence but they don't they don't they don't put out like like solid content they, sure, they just yeah, do yeah. like content just because the, they want to fill it up the yeah, yeah. The, the, the the bag the page the, the bag views, or whatever yeah. or whatever you know but we we don't we don't follow that things we go to the the corporation view like they say okay we need to bring this type of show mm -hmm. we need to bring this type of uh, music we need to bring this type of uh, uh content but content like we open the doors we we are going to do a, a call for artists for colombia peru any type of music and we can call on another dj let's say salsa dj they can have uh, their own show and they're gonna have the latest of the latest music you know mm. Because a lot of people, they fall in love with MTV and there is not the same MTV. There is no show who can put out the good artist music. music yeah, so no, it's not, like it's not media. Everybody went, oh, yeah, we're here. Yeah, no, we're here. No, we don't want to do like... To, it's saying in this way, if you want to have a different result, you cannot do the same thing. Sure. You yeah. need to do it different. You need to go and, think and out that, of the And that keep us entertained as well. That keep us like motivated at the same time, kind of like, um, kind of like fresh when it comes to like, let's do this that might be random, but let's try it out. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking for, I've seen a lot. I've seen a lot of what other people are doing, which is great. But uh, to me, it's still the same. To me, it's still like, or you just put a DJ on. That's it. Right. And what? What about him? You okay. Know, what, what about her? You know. What, what's the story behind it? What? What's going on? Is there some aspects that I can, you know, bring up more to the person? So things like that we're trying to work on pretty well. So you have ideas of how to uh, tackle that differently? Huh? I do, but you won't hear them. The words. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> I want to share the ideas, but man, at the same time. I hold the grudge. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. No, but this is... No, no, like, but I... Not, not as, a, as a team, we always talk about that, that stuff. Like, it is like we, we we don't need that much time. We use to, when we do the uh, 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 meetings, then we, we, we throw it out all the ideas. Mm -hmm. But to, at that moment, we already talk about the 90% of the idea we, in random conversations. No, but totally, but we he, keep it fresh there. And that's that's just the thing. Like We just have want to look at look at it at a different perspective. Yep. Like what could be the next new thing? What could be the next new thing that it will put you on mm -hmm. that? And that's just on the DJ aspect. We might no, also bring the we might also bring the um, artists too, like rappers as well. I mean, we might not just do the same that we were doing before because his show back then it was more complicated because we also had commercials in between. Really, and those commercials yeah. were were the artists' video music. Ah, so it was like a whole deal. Yeah. So imagine what what can be the next level to that? Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. no, not the same deal. What could be the next level? Should we what bring can the be artists? Like how we can how we can bring more people in, like at the same time we can say, oh, your video is gonna be like in the show. They just want to see their video. They don't want to see the show. Yeah. Now that is the problem between the in in egos and the artists. So you 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 notice that if you become a big, they are gonna watch the show. So they start the same process with the same artists. Like okay, listen my music, and don't listen Today another people's music. Nice. Like oh, my music is better. Mm -hmm. We don't think the we think the music is the best. Right. Yeah. What like, what platforms do you guys release your your shows on? And uh, we, when we were doing live, yeah, we did Mixcloud because uh, uh, they deal with the third parties. They deal with the um, all these company, all these distribution companies. Like whatever. they're better Some, for copyright reasons. Yeah, because whatever songs are playing, they're do, the ones they that you. they pay. The, like they're the ones say, that pay. They, they the, pay for all the rights, so you can even so, even you can do your show right now live. It passed by Mixcloud and they record it. Yeah. So you can have your show already recorded. We had an idea of throwing it on TikTok, but on TikTok you need a certain amount of followers to go live like crazy. Oh, really? I didn't know that. And back, then back then it was like a thousand followers. Okay. And what, after that you could go live without interruption. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, they, but TikTok a, also just removed a lot of music from their library. Yes, so they, they did. No, they, 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 did it, they did them all. They, they, Who was it? Universal? That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. Sonic? Universal. I thought it was Universal. Universal, Universal yeah. I didn't want it. So imagine it's something that we had to learn of because basically, mm -hmm. I mean, we're not putting 
music from movie. But, <laughs> but they, they didn't time. want to pay for it. No, there's but even, but even yeah. like, yeah, it, it's, it, there's universal music that has a lot of artists that like, I never, I, I don't think I put any mu movie songs on my TikTok, but I got a lot of notifications saying this song has no, this video yeah. or this reel has no more music Sometimes on Sometimes they go under a different record label. The record uh, label itself is under the, their studio. Yeah. So imagine, you might, there's a lot of songs like that that you don't even realize it, but at the end of the day, Sonic on the other. So we is it we just trying to we try to avoid that and we study that even if, we, if you so, if you pay for the right yeah like go to BMI ASCAP and all that you pay for the right like you, regular you need to pay it every six months even that one even work. that one they cut you I was about to say yeah because the machine is yeah faster you have than to the you, you, you ah, have yeah. the machine will actually, detect it and then actually, they will realize it later. and then you need to fight the claim that like you know yeah 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 and, and so it's, th it's not a, it's not a it's not a live show anymore yeah. so, so in so that like, aspect Mixcloud work very yeah. very well for us very well and so we no, keep it on Vimeo mm -hmm. I say Vimeo right we, That's we keep it in Vimeo so we put all the like all the shows like. Sounds of the under. Even the ones on Groovy Wednesday are still there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we have all, all everything. If all you want to put, uh, you know, wheels on that on Groovy Wednesday, we'll show the link on Vimeo. I think it was like chapter five. I oh, believe. it's chapters, huh? Yeah, yeah, back then yeah. was chapter it sounds and, so fancy and then on sounds of the <laughs> other were like episodes ah. and you know the third season is <laughs> gonna be like it's, well, everything is a learning process it's, <laughs> now it's, it's all learning now it's season now. so that I, that was gonna be my my next question was if if season one was groovy Wednesdays and season two was the underground is it changing again for season three it might it, it might, might. It might. Yeah, yeah because it needs to be fresh we started fresh again like, that's more at the How end of the this? day, it's a it's an it's another season, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it's a new program. Sure. You want to make it like that? It's yeah, yeah. it's not sounds of the under season three where it's the same with different artists. No, it's blah blah blah, where this is happening. There's Got another it. show. Yeah, there, yeah, is, yeah. there is a different show going on for DJs. You know? So, um, season one did has it always both seasons has it been three different shows both times? No, no. The the first season it was only two shows, and then season three you guys had three, three si shows three. simultaneously. Three, it was different. The the Latin music it wasn't it wasn't there. We could have the four, but the problem is like the time frame. Like yeah, we, yeah because we did we everybody knew that every everybody's DJ, so everybody have gigs. So you live every season two episode was live streamed as well. Live streamed. So, so you guys live. aren't banking episodes. You guys are just doing every week. You have to pay every week, week, Tuesday, Wednesday, from Thursday. eight to ten. I was there at eight, Jesus. and people were looking at me at eight p.m. Yeah. Really, that's why we call it. It was more like a show rather than sure. Because that is said, a lot of dedication and discipline. A lot. We uh, had to learn a lot. We so that's what we have. We started like like because it, it was tiredness. It was a problem. We was tired, yeah. so nobody want to go there. Like, like, oh, yo, you know, it's fucking seven months, bro. Yeah, working on it. Like, we didn't realize it. We thought we were gonna do like a few months and stop, and then, but we just continued to because even people, it got to a point that people were asking me to be like, on the show. Could be, to be on the show. Yeah, it got to a point like that, and I was like, yeah, happy. You're making it easier. I don't have to connect to other people. Correct. Right. I just threw a flyer like that. So mm -hmm. imagine. That can that to continue that it, it got us, you know, it got to a point that listen, between you got burned job, out, yeah. And yeah. it wasn't just because of that, we were also doing the events. So, imagine we had all the equipment, and then on Thursday, we had to pack up some stuff, go to the other spot, the actual under, <laughs> pack it over there, yeah. Do the shows on the weekend, the bring the, the thing weekend. back, yeah, for Tuesday. for Tuesday. So, it was like a, it was like a whole logistic that you know. We yeah. was doing a lot of things, parties, and we was throwing parties, events, Party, on, our and own bullshit, events. And <laughs> bullshit, and a lot, and, <laughs> bro, and, and, and thinking of this, a lot of guests, they was like great on the place, but they didn't want to leave the the studio. So a lot of time it was like we was there until two a.m. in the oh, morning. Two no, I, like you, I feel like the first the first episode from the like, the second season, which was La Plataforma back uh -huh. there. I think we left at 9 a.m. Yeah. yeah. The Why? show started at 8 Why? to what 10 the, because what, we, we, got, we got so many people live. inside the studio too because besides our guests, the they guests bring also guests bring, they people. bring people. So oh, imagine wow. I was mixing with 20 people behind me smoking. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was the Have first fun, day. You know? Having yeah. fun, it was like this first day. Because we never close the doors. That's the thing. That we never close the door. Okay, how many guests do you have? Five? Okay. 
They bring their own butter. We we prepare the place, you know. So they have party. That and that is one of the the big things that I always tell them. Yo, the only details in the studio you don't you never know when it's day and when it's night. So Ooh. the time don't run in there. Yeah. So that's when, what they do in casinos. There's no. There's no time, there's no clocks, and there's no windows no, to see no outside. Windows. Yeah, so, so you the, never know. If you it's, never know what time is yeah. on, unless you Strategy, see those. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And, but later on, it was like, yo, no, no, I have to go. Yo, Cisco, stay. No, 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 I have to go. I have to have, <laughs> have something to do. And I was like, yo, bro, it's, it's 11. What do you, what you have to do? You're like, you live right here, like two uh, blocks uh, around. I have what to wake up like at 5 a.m. to yeah. I woke at 9, but you know, I have to wake up like at 5, you know, I gotta, whatever. So he was leaving, he was leaving me with all the guests, like, oh. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Christ, how are we gonna do this? But dude, you got, got to that point, you know, because it was great and people wanted to, I don't know, maybe celebrate after that. Yeah, I guess. For them, for them, yeah. for them for it them. was a fresh thing because they just coming for one day. We exactly. were coming there. You're doing this every freaking <laughs> Every week, week. every yeah, week for three course. days in a row. For three days in a row. I but it so. was a, it was a good experience. It was a good, like, totally. you know, it was an amazing experience. As we because said, like, that, really but I'm assuming was. you guys aren't doing any 9 a.m. Sessions anymore? No, 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 no. No, now we are like more, more. We close. You learned. Here's no. what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm going to take my first bathroom break of the show. Um, if anyone else has to go to the bathroom, uh, by all means, take your, uh, take it now. Do you guys have to go? If you guys have to go to the bathroom, go as well. Except I'm gonna cut all this out, so it won't even matter anyway. Please, Ty, Will, Brian, <laughs> if you want a coupon to get to the bathroom twice. Uh, <laughs> no, no, we'll take a little break. That's yeah, just a quick break. Uh, if anyone has to go, I leave everything recorded, so I can just cut it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, totally. totally. It's fun because like I learned, I learned this the hard way. The first time I interviewed somebody in a long time, I didn't take a bathroom break, and the last hour, I looked at the video. I was like this. Like always cheeky, right? Yeah. Like, like, so tell me about your play. <laughs> and, like, my eyes were like it looked like I was like crying. And like I was just vibrating, hold it, just hold it, hold it, just hold it, just hold it, 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 hold so now I'm just like, okay, go to the bathroom, we'll stop holding Please, it. Please, take your time, take your time. We wait until like 3 a.m., so. Oh, <laughs> 9 a.m. Oh, yeah, all right. Let me go get food. Go, get water. go for it. Oh, <laughs> shit.